Did you know New Zealand is about to have the 30th straight month of above average temperatures? You may be thinking, that means it will be a hot summer. No, this is called global warming. Our earth is getting hotter and closer to the edge. Knowledge is power, so I am sharing it with you. We now need to take control and make a change before we fall off. New Zealand has had a very reliable air temperature up until the 1990s. Since then, the air temperature around New Zealand has risen on average by one degree, and it is set to rise by at least another two degrees before the end of the century. This is happening because of lots of things, but some big contributors are gases. Carbon dioxide. Did you know each New Zealander emits around 6,000 kgs of carbon dioxide every year? Times that by 4.8 million people, and you're talking around 28,800,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide being dumped into the air every year. If that's not crazy enough, New Zealand only makes up 0.06% of the world's population. Is this necessarily an issue though? Carbon dioxide is crucial in order for plants, animals, and humans to survive. It helps keep the planet's temperature stable, but because of our excessive output of carbon dioxide, it is rising. And if we get too much of the seemingly harmless gas, all life on Earth could die. Nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is mostly emitted by agricultural practices, and it is 300 times worse at trapping in heat than carbon dioxide. In 2015, most of the NO2 emissions in New Zealand were caused by nitrogen fertilization. And since the 1990s, they have increased by 48%, now making up 21% of all agricultural emissions. These gases are guilty for warming our planet along with others. But, because of, but the result of this is even worse. This leads me to my next point. New Zealand is famous for the number of glaciers that exist within the Southern Alps. Over 3,000 famous glaciers exist all over the country, which have been here since the Ice Age, and they've been being measured and photographed since 1977. In the last 58 years, 31% of New Zealand's glaciers have melted away. If our global temperatures keep rising, then this will keep happening, causing catastrophic results on our farming industries, skiing, and tourism. Trees are a very important part of our ecosystem as they suck in carbon dioxide and store it, using it to breathe. They then breathe out oxygen. But if a tree gets cut down, it releases all the carbon dioxide it had been storing back into the atmosphere. This only happens slowly as it degrades, but because of farming and so on, more and more trees all over the world are being cut down. The Amazon rainforest has had more than 80,000 forest fires this year. When trees burn, they release their carbon dioxide faster, along with other harmful gases they have filtered. Trees are also our backup plan, because if we cannot find a, a way to reduce the gases in our atmosphere, we are going to be forced upon them. Because trees suck up CO2, they are going to be a big help in our fight. In 2015, researchers discovered that New Zealand forests held more than 283 million tonnes of carbon. So the Labour Party has started a coalition in the goal of planting 1 billion trees around New Zealand by 2028. As of the 27th of July, 2018, 9 billion trees have been planted, with 13% of that being native species. If our temperatures keep rising at their current rate, most places in New Zealand will have more than two and a half months a year above 35 degrees. This will affect our elderly citizens most, with a lot of over 65 year olds struggling to deal with 30 degree heat, and with a quarter of all New Zealanders expected to be over 65 by 2040, this is only going to become a bigger problem. The resulting changes that will be costed in air conditioning will be a lot of money for other people. These combined effects of climate change are going to terribly impact New Zealand. By the end of the century, we're going to have more rain, more extreme weather events, rising seas and higher temperatures. Hotter temperatures might then have an effect on our native plants and animals because they simply aren't used to it, leaving more heat equipped animals in charge, and creating an easy environment for disease carrying insects like mosquitoes. All of these problems have been noticed by the New Zealand government and are being answered to, but this will not bring us salvation. No, we are far past an easy way out. To reverse climate change, we'll call for new technology, and to build that, new factories, more emissions. It is not just the money-crazed giants that need to change, it is also us.
did you stop to think that this summer the temperatures are going to rise again? And the summer after that? Well, would you be walking anywhere in 35 degree heat? Most likely we will drive. Turn on the aircon and drive for five minutes down the road to the Foursquare. Simply, more driving, more exhaust, more consequences. Car manufacturers will then leap at the opportunity. Yay, new cars that contain the newest features, plastic hybrids, and polluters. This is a repeating circle of greed and money. It will not always be this way. Maybe one day we will have a completely eco-safe car or fuel. But for the time being, all I am asking you to do is step back. Step back before you get in your car. Would it kill you to walk for 10 minutes? No, it would probably do you some good. This climate change is now being called a global emergency. And if we all don't act soon, it will be too late. So help. Help me spread valuable knowledge to do our part to stop this horrible disease. Because it is spreading. Fast.